Welcome to Keys to the Kingdom uh, streaming broadcast on this Tuesday night of uh, August the 2nd. We praise God for another great opportunity uh, to gather together around the Word of God. Praise God for you that are joined in with us at the premiere. And we're praising God for those of you that will pick up this video on a little later. We've got a, a extremely powerful teaching to, to, to do tonight, a teaching that I believe it will change your life if you can grab a hold to its principles. I know it can. It's because it's the, it's the, the work of God and the grace of Jesus Christ that's going to come through these words and these teachings tonight. So let's pray and let's jump straight into the Word of God again. I hope that you've been having a blessed day, a blessed uh, week thus far. Uh, you're about to have a blessed night as you sit through these teachings in Jesus name. Father, thank you. And I praise you and I worship you and I give you glory, God. I give you honor. Hallelujah. I praise you for the privilege of being called by your name. I pray, praise you for the privilege of just the opportunity just to, to preach and to teach and to, to handle your word of God. I pray that you would grace us, Holy Spirit, now. Grace us to the extent that uh, uh, the revelation, the insight, the, 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 the word of transformation, the word of uh, reconciliation, the word of uh, rest restoration and redemption would be imparted and uh, activated in the lives of these your believers to such an extent dear God that they would know that they know that they know that they've had an encounter with you we give you the glory for tonight dear God Holy Spirit in Jesus name give us wisdom as we go forth bless somebody heal somebody deliver somebody help somebody tonight dear God in the mighty and majestic name of Jesus Christ we pray and we say amen and amen <laughs> hallelujah to God well praise God once again uh, uh, if you haven't done it, uh, uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, 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 we want you to uh, 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 put in your, your comments and, and, and whatnot, but also uh, uh, call, call up a friend, text a friend, uh, and let him know that Apostle Snooks is on the air and he says that he's got a teaching that's going to and that's going to revolutionize our Christian walk on tonight. Uh, I bless God for, again, uh, the opportunity for us just to, 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 be, to be together. We're going to pick up where we left off in the teaching, praise God, on Sunday. And, uh, and, and before that, we had two parts that we've come across with already. We've been talking about uh, overcoming in these days, praise God, uh, how to overcome in these days, in this age. And this is going to be part number three. In this age, some things have transpired. Last week, we dealt with uh, the uh, uh, we've been looking at Revelation chapter 12 and verses 7 through 17. And we dealt we, we, we've 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 come through that 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 chapter um, uh, uh, quite a bit already. So we're not going to go back over that entire chapter. But here's the thing that I want us to remember from this chapter that we've we've gathered already. Now, we know that there, there is some theology, some teaching that says that this is when uh, the archangel Michael fought against the dragon Satan at the beginning of time, and Satan was thrown down into the earth. And uh, we know that teaching, praise God, we were raised in that teaching, but we're not going to be teaching it that way. We're going to teach this uh, as a a current event. And the reason we're going to teach it as a current event, because as we investigate uh, the entire scenario of the chapter, verse 12, chapter, chapter 12, verse 1, and begin to understand, the Bible says, a great sign appeared into the heavens, which it did happen just like it said, like the Bible said it would happen. A great sign appeared in the heavens, and a woman there uh, was giving birth. And 
we had a, a great heavenly sign of a woman giving birth. And we know that that, that happened uh, in, in as a current event, not as one that happened before the world uh, 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 began. Um, and, then, and, and then it said, it talks about the woman bringing forth a man child. Uh, it talked about the woman having a, a crown of, of 12 stars. Uh, she had a feet on the moon and a, and she was clothed with the sun. Well, when we really do some exegesis, so to speak, some really examining of these verses of scripture, what we find out is the woman here that is being uh, uh, depicted, the woman here that's uh, that's that's being described, is not uh, uh, the world before it, uh, before the time began and Satan getting thrown out. Uh, it's talking about, and it's not talking about Mary, the mother of Jesus, because as we investigate the crown of 12 stars, the, the standing on the moon and the, the sun uh, uh, being shrouded, uh, uh, the woman being clothed with the sun, we find all these things leads to a conclusion that the woman is, is a modern day current uh, uh, a current uh, 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 woman, and, and if we had time, we'd go through each of those these items to help us to understand how we come to those conclusions. Well, once we see this, we understand that the woman represents a body of people. She represents a body. We called her the church. She gives birth. Uh, she's giving birth to something. And as she gives birth to something, Satan wants to kill it. Satan wants to kill it because Satan knows that this thing is, is, that the, the woman is birthing is going to be his end. Uh, the Bible says that the, what is being birthed has a rod of iron and he's going to rule the nations. Well, again, all of those things have to point to the one that is being birthed being current, not one that was uh, being uh, uh, birthed that, that was uh, before the world began. He's going to rule the nations with a rod of iron. It says he was called up to heaven uh, and Satan, Satan was standing waiting for him to come forth and that Satan was going to kill him, but he was caught up to the throne of God. And as he was caught up to the throne of God, then immediately something breaks out in the earth. Warfare breaks out in the earth. The warfare that breaks out in the earth is Satan battling with Michael. Now this is my, the archangel Michael. This is the part where we get to understanding uh, uh, that something transpires in the, in the spirit realm and Satan fights to stop what transpired in the spirit realm because he knows Knows that it is this is something detrimental to his existence. Now, when it says that that that, that the war broke out in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against Satan and his angels, and Satan did not win. Satan did not prevail. Satan was cast down, cast down. Now, uh, again, uh, uh, as we said on last week, uh, uh, this chapter of scripture gives us a big it got is. It's God pulling back the curtains for us to allow us to look into the spirit realm and to see the t the timing uh, and the and the happenings of something uh, 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 that that occurs in uh, what I, I I was calling current as a current event. It was not something ancient in the, this is a, a current event where God pulled the curtain back and let us see that, that the devil had fallen. Now we know the, the, the ancient teaching of before Adam and Eve or Ezekiel chapter 28 or uh, Isaiah chapter 14, when Lucifer uh, uh, fell or uh, was cast out of heaven and uh, he was, was, he was walking in the garden of God and, and all. We know those those teachings, but this is not that time. This is a, a, this is a, a time closer to who we are today. This is a time um, that that deals with 
uh, 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 current things. And we're going to see that in, in just a few minutes because we're going to, uh, well, not, not, not tonight because it's another teaching. We'll see Satan move in chapter 13. We're in chapter 12 now. He'll move when he realizes that he's really cast out to the ground. He moves in chapter 13 and begins to build a, 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 and collaborate fr religiously, fraternally, and politically. Politically in the earth realm. There'd be a, 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 a seven-headed he dragon, a ten-horned dragon, and, the, the, and he'll begin to come up out of the sea of the, the peoples. There'll be Babylon with two horns, uh, looking like a lamb, but speaking like a dragon. Uh, those things are current events. All the, that symbology is current events. It's not things that happen before the end of, I mean, uh, at, at the beginning of the world. And if you don't know the symbolism, if you don't understand the symbolism, there's no way that you can properly interpret what is happening because the symbolism gives us an, a, a revelation and an explanation, explanation of what is happening in the now, what God is opening the curtains for us to see in the now. Now, this is powerful. Uh, so, so say with me, this is powerful. So, what we see is Satan falls down or Satan is cast down. And verse 10, we were looking at uh, 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 when Satan was cast down. Uh, we said on last week, Satan did not go run to the, a cave somewhere and hide himself and began to cry. What Satan began to do, the moment he was cast down, he began to attack the woman that gave birth to the man child. He attacked the woman that gave birth to to the man child. Now, what was he doing? He was attacking the source that the glory had came out of. He was attacking the word that we call it the the, the, uh, the woman that birthed the man child. But we, uh, uh, if we would say it's the it's the mar it's the new church. It's the first fruit church. It's the ecclesia that came out of of the church ages that kept following God and moved with him into the seven seals and moved with him into the seven trumpets and moved with him. Uh, even though we don't know all about it, the seven thunders, they've, a church that moved with God and continues to move with God, looking to hear, looking to understand uh, a church, the Bible says here in the 12th chapter, that loves not its own life, its own ways. It doesn't love. This is a church that, that moves with God and follows the Lord everywhere he goes. So here's a birthing now, a birthing now of something. The new breed of God being birthed into the earth. The new breed of God coming forth. And as the new breed of God coming forth, uh, uh, that's who this woman is. Uh, the one that brings that new new breed forth. So we have this, we have this, um, uh, uh, we have this, mm, this woman uh, 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 that Satan now attacks when he discovers he's been cast down when that man child was caught up into the heavens uh, when that man child was caught up then the, the enemy comes to that man child and as the enemy comes to that the enemy tries to get that man child God God uh, uh, preserves him but war immediately breaks out in the spirit realm as that man child is caught up war is, immediately breaks out and God opens the curtain for us to see the the archangel Micaiah fighting him. <clears throat> And it perfectly gels. It perfectly gels because even in the book of First Thessalonians, says, the Lord shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. All of those things, every one of those items, are right there in this scenario in Revelation 12. The shout, uh, uh, the trump, uh, uh, and the voice, the disclosure, the phone of God, the disclosure of God in the archangel is being and seen them. So the archangel battles and casts Satan down. And Satan immediately goes and attacks the woman. And he attacks the woman. Uh, 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 he knows that his time is short. God gives the woman a rescue. A rescue by the earth itself. A rescue by what the Bible calls wings of a great eagle. And the woman is able to, to fly into security. The, ch the church is able to fly, uh, take a time. Uh, move into a, a time of security. 
security. God opens the curtains and lets us see all of that, that the church moves into a place of security. Though the enemy is mad, though the enemy has come after her, the church has moved into this place of security. And here we get, that's the backdrop of what we have taught and here we get to this new place, uh, that, that this new place, and at this new place, here we see, glory to God, here we see the voice, uh, here we see in, in verse 10, J John the Apostle, who's writing the book of uh, Revelations here, we hear, we hear his voice saying, his voice says, now is come. Hallelujah. He says, uh, uh, verse 10, he says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ and the, for the accuser of the brethren is cast down and, and uh, which accused them before God both day and night. And, and we taught on last week about that voice and what it was saying to us in the church of today. God's gave us, given us a peep. Now, do you believe it? I know you believe in the blood of the lamb, but do you believe the testimony that God has, has, has done another work? You see, Satan occupies a place in the earth realm called spiritual wickedness in high places. Satan operates in a, a place of dominion where he can control the kingdoms of the world, control the, the, the wealth of the world, control the, uh, um, uh, 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 the, the people peoples uh, and freedoms of the world uh, every uh, uh, every place of of uh, uh, of influence of the educational uh, community the business community uh, every one of these arenas spiritual wickedness in high places satan has moved to those arenas and, and satan looks to control the entire world uh, and keep the world in bondage keep the people blinded from god uh, uh, the entertainment arena satan in spiritual wickedness in high places once the apostle paul wrote about him in the book of ephesians where he says we don't wrestle against uh, our flesh and blood he said we wrestle against spiritual wickedness in high places and their rankings rankings of these spirits principalities and powers uh, 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 all of these things are a ranking of spirits that operate in humans. There's rankings of spirits, and many times they're operating in humans. Remember, a demon or a spirit is nothing unless it has a body to express itself through. If he's spirit just walking around and, and, and just in the air, uh, 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 he can't stick around you too long if he can't find a place in you to express himself through. So, so, so here it is war was in heaven. Oh, God gives us a vision of, of a, an understanding, opens up the veil, opens up and allows us to see that, that, that there's a, something happening in the spirit realm. Something new is happening. You see, that's just why it's so important for us to understand things like the seven church ages. The seven church ages bring us to, to, the, to the, starts us at the beginning of the church, where the church began to leave its first love all the way to the end of the church where God is saying, okay, I've bought you out. You're not going back, but you're not going forward anymore in, in, uh, either. What God says now in the fourth chapter of Revelation, I want you to come up here and let me show you some some the, the next things to come. Well, God says, come up here and let me give you further instruction where God has a book that hadn't even been opened yet. And God begins to say, I want to show you things that, that you don't know. And people, begin, the, 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 the thrones begin to rejoice because it was as to them, a new song and a new song that they now began to sing and 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 you got to understand the reason it's so important for us to get to understand those things is because it helps us to see the, the beginning of the church all the way to the end of the age of the church and the transitioning of the church and, and what takes place in the transitioning and the and the father instruction it's not Jesus coming back walking on the floor of the 
the earth uh, and, and, and teaching from a book. No, it's now that the sons and daughters of God are uh, matured to a place where, where God can begin to open up uh, levels of revelation, uh, dimensions of understanding that they didn't have before. God begins to open up the, up things and we begin to see. So when we begin to see this, this scenario in Revelation 12, we begin to understand uh, th th this is something that happens uh, after the church age. This is a, a woman with 12 stars, a crown, a, a woman in, who stands in victory. This is not a woman who, who's beat down. And, 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 and uh, It's just not Old Testament Israel uh, and, the, and the 12 uh, uh, tribes, tribal heads because they, they weren't like stars that, that ascended and, and were luminaries. This was a woman in Rev 12 that, that had uh, her feet on the neck of the dragon, feet on the, uh, head, I'm, she, had, she had a foot on the moon. Israel and, and the 12 tribes never had their foot on the moon or the foot uh, 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 on, on Satan. If we begin to understand all of these terms, then we begin to see clearly. But here what we, here's what we understand. As God opens up this veil, as God opens up this veil and we began to see, as God opened up this veil, we began to know what time it is. We began to, we began to understand that, that we've left now the church ages. We're not, that Jesus is not coming back to shed his blood again. He already shed it. Jesus is not coming back to, to redeem us again. He already paid the price for redemption. Remember that word, paid the price for redemption. He's already paid the price for redemption. And so, so, so here, when we look at this warfare that's going on, we understand that's a modern day kind of warfare. It's a time where he's, he's, he, he chasing, he's chasing after the church and as he chases after the church, uh, um, uh, 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 he misses it. The Bible says, hey, he fought against Michael and the archangel and he prevailed not. Very important where he prevailed not. So, so here's the word now. He said, uh, the great voice comes from heaven since Satan prevails not. And here's what the voice said. Verse 10. He says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation. We talked about now has come. You got to understand some things about time. God opens up the thing and open up the veil of the curtain and lets us see in time. There ain't no more laddering of this age coming. We had a latter rain that took place. It doesn't matter what anybody says. It doesn't matter what and we've had the end of the age, great harvest that took place worldwide. And as it took place, as it took place, uh, now you, 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 you had, a, you got a first fruit people now hungry for the next things because a latter rain, a great harvest of the whole world uh, took place. So, so, so now he says, now has come the time. Now has become certain things. I, I can't go over all this today, but I'm going to give you a few uh, nuggets that you can uh, work with until Sunday. And when we come back on, he says, now has come uh, uh, salvation. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm just going to give you a brief nugget, and then we will we'll go back and... And we'll come back and, and deal with them uh, uh, specifically. Or oh, I'll write a book or something. or create a CD or you, or you can you, make it available to you via internet, uh, online. So now has come salvation. Now is the time for a different dimension of salvation. And you got to understand that. A different dimension of salvation. You say, ah, oh, no, ain't no more salvation to be had. Well, why did Paul teach? We have received the earnest of the Spirit, but we're waiting for something called a fullness. Uh, Paul taught that, that there was something yet to be obtained. And, and it's not talking about uh, Jesus having to come and shed his blood again. It's not talking about that. But, but we're waiting We've been waiting for a fullness. The scripture says that everything in creation, all of creation has been groaning and mourning uh, 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 for a certain kind of manifestation to take place. And it says not the creation only that's mourning. It says, but we too have been moaning and groaning, waiting for something. We're waiting for a manifestation of what we call the sun's and daughters.
orders of God. Now listen to me. Listen to me. This is a level of salvation that moves us from a earnest and then moves us into a fullness. And it moves us from a God having paid the price to redeem our spirit man. God having paid the price to redeem our solical man. But did you know that God already paid the price to redeem your body? That he's not coming back to pay another price for the redemption of your body. Every time we've been taught about the redemption of the body, we've always uh, we've always had people tell us that, oh, that's when we're going to be in the ground, under the dirt, we're going to be dead, and Jesus is going to come back, and the trumpet's going to blow, and then we're going to rise again, and then we're going to take on our glorified body. Honey, beloved, you can take on a glorified body right now. That means that uh, you can, like the Apostle Paul, you can be here and not know whether I was in the flesh or out. God can take you to different dimensions. You can be like Philip and you'll be standing, praise God, in one place preaching to an Ethiopian and then all of a sudden the glory of God can come upon you and you can be shifted. Uh, you can be translated from that place even into Samaria. You can be like Peter who is in jail and the glory of God can come down upon your flesh and the, as that glory comes down upon your flesh that glory can bring you out of the jail place, cause an a, a earthquake and bring you out of the place. Uh, there, there's scripture, there's evidence in the scripture of the physics of the world being uh, uh, overruled by the glory of God coming down on the body. See, uh, he says, now is come salvation. It's another level, another dimension of salvation that we didn't even know was going to happen. The only thing we knew about was rapture. And we, we knew that that was another level of salvation, but we didn't understand that God could cause glory to come on our body without taking us away from the earth. And now we see these evidences, evidences in scripture of, 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 of this thing that God is doing. So, so get this point, beloved. It says, now has come salvation. Now, I can't help it. Now, if you don't want it, and you don't believe it, I'm sorry, then you, we, then you don't have to uh, look for that experience. You don't have to look for that thing to take place in you. But let me tell you, something. If things get rough and people start doing crazy stuff in the natural, they can't do anything against your spirit. You just renew your mind. But if they start doing things in the natural, you're going to need a God whose glory works in the natural just as well as it works in the spirit. Whose glory works in the natural just as well as it works in the solical. And I'm telling you, now has come the glory of another level, another dimension of salvation. This is how the wealth of the wicked will be transferred into the house of the, the just. This is how, if a God's going to move on the globe... God's going to move in the earth. God's going to move in the earth into such an extent that the power of God will, will cause uh, demonic forces uh, that are holding on to them. He's going to shake them, uh, shake them loose. All of that they have pillaged, all of fortunes that they've stolen, all the gifts that they have buried, uh, it'll come up. Uh, the sea will be called, uh, uh, will be demanded uh, to give it up uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, he says, uh, the voice says, now it's come salvation. See, when this thing takes place, another dimension of salvation takes place. Let me, let me go on. I can't stay here. And then he says, now has come the kingdom of God. What a teaching. Now has come the kingdom of God. Something transpires and the kingdom, <laughs> which was at a certain place now, begins to usher forth dimensionally into, the another, into another place. Did you know that the place called spiritual wickedness in high places, that Satan dwells in it, that place is coming down? The, the spiritual wickedness in high places, uh, uh, that, that, that's, that's the kingdom uh, headquarters of Satan now. Now, but it will come down the kingdom uh, uh, headquarters of Satan spiritual wickedness in high places will come down 
but there's a there's a kingdom of God and the advancing and pushing forth of the kingdom of God in the earth realm whereas the the, the, the seventh angel declares the kingdoms of this world become the kingdoms of our God did you know that the kingdoms of our God begins to be established in the in the dimension of the earth realm heavens let me tell you something baby pretty soon according to the third angel of the everlasting gospel message in chapter 14 blessed are the ones that die in the Lord uh, from, from that time forth you know why because they ain't gonna have a long way to go to get to heaven the earth realm heavens this is how Jesus rules New Jerusalem and pray me God God says I'm gonna rule it with him that's some deep stuff there I shouldn't have gone that through that tidbit out there but the point is is this yeah, we're raised up. Uh, the, that that the kingdom of the kingdoms that are now in operation, uh, the kingdoms that, uh, that, that, that 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 destroy the earth, they're coming down. God's raising up a kingdom. Praise God, that's going to last forever. Amen. Daniel saw it in the Old Testament. Daniel said, "I saw a rock hewn out of a mountain, and and it rolled down the mountainside, and it crushed up everything that was in his way until." Till that little rock was that rock was the last thing standing. And that rock is called the kingdom of God. So so you you so so it's, now is come salvation, another level, dimension of salvation. Now is come the kingdom, another level, another dimension of the kingdom of God ushering forth. Now listen, I can only preach it, I can't make you believe it, but I'm telling you, praise God. If you want to operate in these things, now nah, this is this is this is a, a word for you. Now I believe I might be able to get these in he says in another place he said now it's come strength now it's come strength now that word is dunamis dunamis the first time we heard that word was over not maybe not the first time but we heard that word mag powerfully utilized in acts the uh, the, the first and uh, first and second chapter where he says uh, and when the holy ghost has come uh, you shall receive power or you shall receive dunamis and, and and he says and, and that dunamis and that power is giving you to be a witness of me uh, uh, a lot of people are operating in operating now and they don't even know what they that, what they're being a witness to I mean you know, the, the the spirit of prophecy is, is the testament of Jesus there's a there's a spirit of prophecy that's being released to 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 to, to verify and to be a witness of these things that I speak of right now that the spirit of prophecy is a witness of these things that I speak of. It's not just something to make a man of God, a woman of God look good. It's a, it's a release. It, 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 it. So, so, so he said, now is come uh, now has come strength or now has come dunamis. Dunamis is power. Power is for the witnessing of something's different. The dunamis is for the witnessing of something greater. Beloved uh, man of God, woman of God, you've been a little bashful now. People have been talking about you and talking about the power of God coming to you. Just tell them, uh, I just, I'm just bearing witness. <laughs> I'm just bearing witness that God is on the scene. I'm just bearing witness that God is doing something great. One more, one more, one more, one more tonight. Can I, can I do one more? One more tonight. Now has come the power of his Christ. And that word there is exousia. Now has come the power. One word of power is dunamis. And the other word is exousia. Now, a, a dunamis is a gift that, that, that helps you to be a witness. Uh, 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 exousia is an, is an authority that helps you to be a, a witness. Now, let me just tell you something about uh, uh, this, 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 thing, this thing called exousia. Satan, uh, 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 he'll attack a brother or a sister uh, strongly who's operating in a, 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 a gift. Because he, he doesn't want that gift to, to be seen. But let me tell you something about uh, exousia, ex, of, of the authority. Oh, 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 Lord, look what y'all made me done. I got to get out of here. He says, oh, oh, he said, exousia is an authority. Uh, exousia will speak to the wind. 
Uh, see, the gift of the Spirit will lay hands on a person. The gift of the Spirit will get a revelation about a person. A gift of the Spirit is, is given, given for certain reason. But exousia is, an, is the authority. Exousia is something much greater. That which is given to the sons and daughters of God to bear witness. Whew, now its time has come. The time of the exousia has come. I know that's not Jesus calling me, but I'm not going to stop to answer it right now. Now has come exousia, authority. Far greater than dunamis. How will we make it in these days to come? God's got it covered. Now <laughs> has come salvation, the kingdom of God, the power of his Christ, the strength of his Christ. Father, I thank you and I praise you for now. I pray now in an operation of that exousia strength that the winds of heaven would blow. Whoa. The heavens would usher out Validate, confirm this word. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Well, I think uh, I'm only going to come back to this if the Holy Spirit allows me to. I've got to write about it. And, but I don't know. If God allows me to, we'll come back and teach it in detail. Each one of these. Now has come the time of the salvation. Now has come the time of another level, dimension of salvation. Now has come the time of another dimension of the kingdom of God. Now is time, now is the time has come of a, of a, 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 a greater dimension of the strength of God. Now has come the time of a greater dimension of a power, the exousia power of God. The strength and the, 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 the dynamis and the exousia is to bear witness of the salvation and of the kingdom advance. Because these are the ones who look behind the veil, clinged on to the blood of the Lamb, but they have a testimony of what they have seen. Don't be ashamed, my prophesying brothers. Don't be ashamed in healing. Delivering brothers. For the Lord has ordered this thing. Well, <laughs> uh, I think we have online. My son is putting these things up, so I need to go ahead and get finished for the day. Don't forget to give as the Lord leads you to give. You can see our our uh, check-in places uh at uh, PayPal and uh, also at uh, uh, Cash App, in Jesus' name. We've also got affiliates that we are involved with that we want you to remember, our apostle friend, Melinda Bell, on Wednesday nights. Uh, you'll see the telephone number on the screen. Pastors Ephraim and Carol Sauteris on Thursday nights at 6 p.m. You'll see their information on the screen also. And... Um, um, We've got a few others, I think. We're on Monday nights Bible study, Monday nights prayer and intercession, Tuesday nights Bible study, Sunday morning uh, Bible teaching. Apostle Fred and Melinda also are on uh, uh, Wednesday nights and also Sunday morning. Uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, we got a. Um, <clears throat> pray for us, Apostle Victoria Lockhart. We're in a forty-day. Uh, uh, cell cleansing fast now. There's Dr. C Cecilia Cooper on Thursday. I think she's doing the, uh, the intercessory prayer meetings. We've got uh, 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 
are just qu are quite a few others that are doing so many things. Every day of the week, there's something going on that you can be blessed by. I'm not going to hold you up for any longer tonight. It's been a blessed time teaching, pray uh, according to the scriptures to see if these things that were told you were so. God bless you. We'll see you next time in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, 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 shalom. You are the you are the you are the apple of God's eye. And God gave and spent the price of the blood of Jesus Christ for you. So is anything else too expensive for him? You are the apple of God's eye. God bless you. Shalom.